Hello there, Unity people. It's M. Strange from the Strange School. And are you tired of nav mesh agents that are unable to jump? Are you tired of having to manually make off mesh links to move from one part of the nav mesh to the next? Well, I was until I made this simple little fast solution that allow nav mesh agents to jump across uh, nav meshes, whether they're the old style nav mesh system or the new one using nav mesh services. It works either way. Let me prove it to you. Here's a nav mesh agent with a little script that I'll give you in this package. And there are two methods that you need to call to make this happen. I'm using Odin, so I have the buttons here, but you don't need it. So I'm going to press this, and it's going to go to the point on the ledge closest to the target. And then it's going to jump across and re-enable the nav mesh agent. So this could be an enemy chasing the player. It could be whatever you want. So, and just to show you that it works, whether you're going up or down, we just have to rebake the nav mesh and uh, call the jumping agent again. And let's go ahead and press this. And then there he goes. He jumps up. And before I go into the script itself, I'm just going to show you some of the options here that are exposed. So the way I have it right now, you just drag and drop your nav mesh agent, your rigid body. If you don't want to use a rigid body on your agent, if you want to use a transform, there's a note in the script. So scroll down and uh, the target is the object you're trying to reach the reach start point distance that's how far it will stop um, next to the ledge uh, the dummy agent you can just leave that alone that is something the script is spawning to do what it needs to do the end jump position is the script can output the, the position on this ledge if you want to do something with it and the max jump distance is a cutoff so if something's if the ledge is farther than this it's not going to even try the jump and the jump time is how long the jump takes and add to jump height so right now the jump height which is the middle position of the jump it's using the height of the nav mesh agent but you can add to this if you want so I'm gonna add a five and then make the jump take a little longer show you what that does and then I'll jump into the script and just show you some things you might want to take note of so there and you can adjust this however you want so now let's go into the script and so the only thing this requires is do tween which is this dg here and it's free on the asset store so that doesn't cost anything i am using odin but um you don't need this so uh you can just delete this if you don't want to use it and also delete this button here that's what made the button show up but it's not required for the script to work it's just a cosmetic thing so as we go down i'll just look through my notes so the important methods you want to call, whether you're calling this manually or if you're using something like Playmaker or some other visual scripting tool, you just want to call this method and then call this method, the two that have the button on them. And um, so what it's doing here, the little trick it's doing is that you'll notice it comes with this dummy agent, which has this other script. So I'm using this thing called to uh, path status, sample path, whatever, it's here in the code. But pretty much what it's doing is that it's trying to see if there's a path from your agent to the target and then it gets the last point on that path that's the start point of your jump and then I spawn a dummy agent at your target and then it tries to get the path back to you and then it gets that point and that's the jump and um, end jump point and then I just get the, the point between them and add the height of the nav mesh to get the middle and you can add more to, to the height which I showed you there so there's just some things to take note so in this ready to jump, um, which is called, so when the, uh, the agent gets to the edge, it will stop and call this ready to jump. So if you're gonna do something with your animation, this is where your character would like crouch down to jump. And then once you could use an animation event or something, once they're crouched down, you want them to actually jump, then you would call uh, the perform jump and then you would use um, another animation to go into their you know uh, their actual jumping state here and then if we go all the way down to jump finished this is where you would play your animation for like there they just landed a jump so those are some notes I want to show you and some other things too so with that dummy agent I'm using for my little trick, I'm instantiating it here, but you're probably using pooling. So then you would spawn this here and then towards the bottom, um, I'm destroying it, but this is where you would despawn it. So I would change that. And then the thing making the path and actually doing the jump is the do tween. 
which is here, do local path, and I left a little note. So if you don't have a rigid body on your agent, I use them because I use them for, for my knockback. But if you want to use a transform, uh, you can use transform dot local do local path and check the do tween docs because they tell you what that's for. So I think that's the only notes in here. So um, yeah, I hope you have fun with it. I hope it does some stuff, helps you with your games. I won't be able to answer any questions or anything like that because uh, I'm working on my game programming. I just made this for my game, and I'm using it not to not only to jump but to get sniper positions. So that's it's good for that. So like um, you can pull out the if you want to use it for that you would want the start point so the jump start point so just make this public and then you can see where it's getting created or just pull the code out to get this jump start point and then the jump start point can also be used like a sniper position like I said so if your player is like down here and you want to get a sniper position or over here or anywhere it'll get all the points on this perimeter to snipe at them so I had a previous sniper point position solution that I made, but the, this one is way simpler, so I'm going to replace it. But anyway, um, that's enough blabbing for me. The package will be on my GitHub, uh, my little Unity script GitHub. It's not on here right now, but I'll throw it on here, and it'll be called jumpyagent.unity package. So just download that, and you'll have all the stuff you need. So I um, hope it helps somebody out there, and until next time, M.Strange saying goodbye.